I've been looking for ways to weld batteries together using this uh, nickel tape. I got one of these things that is battery operated, but uh, what I didn't know, I was planning on using supercapacitors to drive it, my power supply and some supercapacitors. But after I got it, I found out that they warn you not to do that. You're supposed to use some special batteries, and those batteries are like lithium batteries, and so this would have to become a dedicated thing. It's not something you can do occasionally. It's, it starts kind of getting up there in the money just to, you know, uh, weld a battery every now and again. So I found something else on the internet. Let me show you what uh, they were talking about. So they said, get yourself a supercapacitor. Most of them were showing a 500 fare. This is a 600. Uh, 2.8 volts and then something you know like these copper points and if you just hook them directly from here to here and you poke this on uh, that tape onto a battery it'll just weld. Well uh, yeah let me show you what I did and what the results I got. This is what I came up with so there's my supercapacitor soldered there attached directly to this uh, and then these two welding electrodes and then I hook my power supply up here let her charge up I've got my power supply hooked up over here and I've got a current limited to about 5 amps um, and it is charging up the capacitor so uh, yeah somebody start the Jeopardy song because this takes a long time to charge up I know it's charged when this hits 2.5 volts where it's set and this gets below like uh, half an amp but I don't think I'm going to wait that long. Um, so we will, uh, I will get back to you as soon as this is charged up. So it's taken three minutes to charge up, a little over three minutes, four minutes now. And here's our sample of this tape. And we will just go like that. And then we'll take a look at it. On this side, it looks pretty good. It looks like a huge heavy duty weld. But if you look on that side, you can see there's just barely any whatever. And then they always say, oh, okay, you know, it sticks together really well. And yeah, not. So that was one shot. Uh, and it took three minutes, almost four minutes to recharge. So. Yeah, I'm going with, this is not quite a, a sham thing for clickbait, but it's not really real. I mean, if you get any kind of weld, the, the spots are so tiny, you're not going to get any current through there. And you'd have to do a dozen of them just to get any kind of a area for uh, your current to pass through. And a dozen welds at, uh, call it four minutes a piece, is uh, what, 48 minutes for one uh, for one battery end. Nah. Well that's it for making one of these DIY spot welders for batteries out of a supercapacitor and a couple copper points. Uh, I hope I saved you some headache time and money in trying to put one of these together.